Welcome back. We have reached the reservoir in St. Andrew. And it's a lot less frozen than the one in Curieville was. And it looks like if we want to get to the center here, we will have to take a swim. But wouldn't you know it, I forgot my swimsuit. So yeah, that's not an option. Plus, I don't think I could actually scale that wall if I did get there. Assuming there's a way to lower the water, though, considering this staircase goes underwater. What the hell is that noise? I do not know. Nor do I know where it's coming from. There's those water towers. Assuming that's what they are. And another conveyance pod. Alright, destination added, St. Andrew Reservoir. I kind of see there is some stuff underwater there. Can't quite make out what it actually is, though. Wait, where does this go? Oh, it's one of those pipes. This is the... Um, I was trying to see what color was on this pipe, but I can't really tell. I guess this is the yellow one. They're all colored, so that one's green. Irrigation tower valve. Open. We are united. So I guess that's an irrigation tower. Which makes sense if these are fields where they grow food. Couldn't find a spot that's a bit more level terrain to do that, but whatever. Doesn't seem to have done anything. I'm going to assume we want it open since it was originally closed. Didn't affect the water level either. Oh, the big circle around. The opening is the same color as the stripes on the pipe. So this is the green one. It too is closed and can be opened. And can't be closed again. I'm assuming that's some kind of limitation on our adjunct. I mean, somebody needs to have been able to close those. So presumably, some kind of permission system that says, okay, your agent can open these, but cannot close these. Maybe it's because we're new, and closing it is, I don't know, somehow more restricted. Whatever, still no visible effect, so... Now here's the... Th those things that were in the other uh, Reservoir 2. We could walk through them there. Here we can't get to them. We can look through them to see what will eventually be the tower. Assuming we do the same thing here as we did in Curieville. That green pipe seems to be going over there. There's some platforms there. Which um, I don't think we can reach. Not unaided, anyway. Maybe you can get there from the arch? Looks kind of unlikely. Don't know. Just keep walking around. There's the conservatory. 
And the elevator we came down was going all the way down the... The back of that. And then we know the seat vaults are on the other side of that cliff face. Okay, I'm gonna run here because <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anything here and it's just a long way. Alright. This is all lined up. The tower, the, this thing, and the arch. For what purpose? No one knows. Alrighty. That's just the Omni Wheel track. Doesn't look like there's anything here. We can walk around it, but other than giving us some cool views, it doesn't actually seem to accomplish anything. And here's the third structure on the side. The creepy eye flag. Uh, another yellow pipe. This thing from the other pipe, it seems, it has its own thing here, which I'm guessing is another valve we can open. I am right. Can't quite see where the irrigation tower is for this one, though. That one's obvious. But where this goes, I don't know. Underneath that piece of rock. It's probably somewhere behind there. It looks like there is a structure behind there, but I can't quite see it. I think the reservoir in Curieville... We care for our comrades. I just love being interrupted every five minutes. Um, not even less than five minutes. And the red pipe. I think there were pipes coming out of the reservoir in... Curieville 2. I don't know if that's what that would be used for if they're if that one's frozen solid. Maybe it's not. Could just be a layer of ice on the top, I guess. Although we're considering how cold it is there. I don't know. Well we I guess we opened all the valves, didn't see any others, and nothing happened. We still cannot progress through here. But uh, we can at least continue to the arch using the Omni Wheel. Did um, opening all those valves accomplish anything here? No, we st not that I can tell, anyway. Did it turn power on? No, the Kamala still has no power. I'm guessing we need to use that thing for something? We'll maybe to do with the irrigation towers and the pipes? But, it doesn't seem to be possible right now. So, let's just move on. Didn't really accomplish anything right now, as we can tell. Maybe we need the valves open once we get to the arch. So in that case, it uh, would be good to have done it anyway. If we need them closed, then that's we have a problem because, like I said, we can't close them again. Um, let's go. Arch. Oh, I wanted to see them close. Wasn't fast enough.
we don't even have to turn around this time. We are already facing the right direction. Well, this is familiar looking. All looks very similar to the one in Curieville. What was that? I heard something, but I could not hear what it was. Hmm. This looks identical to the other one as well. The inside with the three paths. There wasn't anything on the side paths. In... The other arch. And that there doesn't seem to be anything here either. So all we can do is go up. Another adjunct upgrade, presumably. Let's do that first. How do these upgrades work? Like, it looks like this machine is physically doing something to the glove, but uh, not quite sure what that would be. Alright, what do we get? Oh yeah, there's gonna be a amplified force. Hold down the left mouse button to aim the adjunct. Um, alright. I guess it's just a different kind of socket that we can use now. I don't remember if we've... did we see one of these yet? I think we saw one in Kiryville, I cannot recall right now. But anyway... Unlike the... Uh, distance extension, which actually makes a few things easier... Especially here in... Uh, St. Andrew, because you can reach further, which makes the the little thing with the rail piece easier to operate, the crane, and uh, also means you can raise and lower yourself further without having to switch sockets on the planters. This really has no purpose other than uh, the specific places where those sockets are. And we can, of course, um, add our destination here. And we cannot open it because we have to do the embrace thing once we're here. I believe I showed that last time as well. That the game will not let you leave once you're here. Whether through the elevator or the conveyance pod. Treat these places like shrines. It's so peculiar. It's so very cultish. That is definitely still the vibe I'm getting.
Alright, same story as before, I guess. We can awaken the embrace. Whatever that means. Or at least we can raise the spire. Which has raised another tower. Or spire, I guess. Which I guess is what we're doing, or at least what uh, our lady friend is telling us to do. So I don't really understand the purpose. Can, the other tower, we could get to it, but we couldn't really do anything with it. Can we get to this one at all? It's in the middle of a lake, so... Or reservoir. Kind of feels like it probably isn't reachable. But there's an easy way to check. Because we can use this to go back to the reservoir, as always. I can't decide if these pawns are better or worse than um, flicking books, because at least you can go within the same age, for lack of a better word, realm, I guess. Um, But, um, you seem to need to go through the swan to get to a different place. Like, you can't just go use this paw to go to Curiesville. Plus, they are a little, lot more cumbersome. I wonder how in this traveling system going to a realm for the first time works. Like, do you take the pot with you? Do you need to construct something for the pot to exist in you, at your destination? And therefore you need to get there some different way first? Maybe these are just like different planets and you need to get there by, you know, rocket or whatever first. And then you can build a conveyance pot thing and um, just go there. that way a lot faster but you have to do it the hard way first I don't know that would certainly explain why there's only three of them but that is pure conjecture of course all right um, well it doesn't look like anything really changed here other than you know the obvious Nothing happened with the water. I do not believe that our problem with the Camelus was one of these bigger sockets. There wasn't one that I could see that need the extra force. So... I don't think that's going to change anything. Well, I mean, might as well check. We are here after all. Is that water? Going through the pipes that I hear? I'm not quite sure. Um, is that one? No, I don't think that one is one of the stronger force one, and I still can't reach it. Yeah, no. 
Nothing doing there. So... I guess that all we can do is move on to our last remaining realm and see if we can raise the spire there too and then hopefully something will happen. Um, then we need to go back to the swan. The reason I'm, like, curious whether or not, um... You need to build something for these things to work at a destination first is because it doesn't seem like the entire outside of the pods goes with us because there, it's always there. Regardless of, you know... We all knew of the arrival. It was foretold. We waited and kept hoping we would experience it. Okay. Another tidbit of information about the arrival there. But yeah. I mean, like, yeah, these, these actual pods are always sitting there, even if we travel between them conventionally inside a realm. So, it does seem to me like that the outer part of it, at least, isn't being teleported or whatever is happening. But maybe that's all you need to do, build one of those outer parts once you've teleported there or something. I don't know. This game isn't telling me anything. Well, yet, anyway. Anything new here? Doesn't look like it at first glance. Was this... Was this open like this before? I don't know. Seems to be the only change. Nothing happening in the threshold. Nope. Nothing here. Which I guess means we have only one route left to go, and that is Julston. You know, if I were her, I would have woken us up in Julston just for the fact that it would be shorter to drag the pod to that one <laughs> rather than this one. Maybe she was going to wake us up in St. Andrew just like um, she was originally. And... Um, and she got this far, and I was like, screw it! I ain't dragging this thing all the way! Also, we didn't see a bunker in St. Andrew. Wonder if... Maybe Curieville is the only place with one? But then, where did she get woken up? I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be in... One of those bunkers. Makes sense that Curieville has one, because it shelters from the elements, I guess. All right, so Julston then. Let's see what kind of world this is. Hopefully it's another lush green one because I quite like that part. Oh, we're just going straight to the reservoir here. Well, that will save us a lot of trouble. It's the only place we can go. Something tells me that just getting to the arch from the reservoir isn't going to be as easy as it was in uh, 
St. Andrew if we just get there immediately the first time. I wonder what the significance is of these lights changing direction. Or the significance of the little rainbow colored lights that show up while you're doing that. I wonder about the significance of Welcome many things. Welcome to the Juston realm. Be careful. Many were sent to deep sleep before their time. Does, do you mean people died here, or...? I'm still not really sure what this deep sleep actually is. Well, there's the arch. Oh, there's actually... there's water here outside of the reservoir. And there's the Omniwheel track to get there. Which I guess would be somewhere on that side then. We can go either way. I'll just be con contrarian, I'm gonna go this way first. Rather than head straight for where the tracks might come out. such an ominous noise. And I do not know what it is. Oh, well, there's a reservoir. Oh, look, we got bridges here. Neat! I can actually go to the middle. That one... Looks like it's still underwater, though. I want to look, mo look around more on this side first, though. Before we go over there. This is a dead end. Quite clearly. These power lines, I'm guessing. Lead somewhere. Um, hey. Well, we were just talking about uh, bunkers, and it looks like there is one here. I mean, this is definitely a lot less, you know, inviting of a place than than uh, Curieville was, uh, sorry, St. Andrew was, but still not as, you know, cold as Curieville, by the looks of it, so do we need a bunker to shelter from the element? Depends on what this smoke is, I guess. No power. Bunkers need power? That's news to me. Well, I guess it doesn't have power coming through this wire. That's what the red light must mean. No power. Wait, if the red light means no power, then that what's what's powering the red light? Must be like a, a tiny backup battery in there to indicate that. I don't know. Light on means power. Light off means no power. Seems easy enough to me, but... Guess they wanted to do it this way. Can we get power here? I guess we need to find where this cable goes. It goes towards that structure on the other side of the... ...reservoir. So... Let's try and get there. See if we can with these bridges. Yeah, that one is just, again, underwater. Can we see what's there underwater? Not really. S 
something, but I can't tell what. Kiriville is no use there, because we can see even less with all the ice. I wonder if we can get rid of the water here somehow. Still don't know if that's what we're doing in St. Andrew. Um, well, the wire went that way, so let's actually go that way. Well, I want I want to stand here when the spire get raised and then just be on the top of it. If only this were multiplayer. I bet that would be cool to see. Let's look at this structure over here. Some kind of building. Oh, hey, look, there's a an extra force socket, which we can now use. Concatenated power, main gate control. All right, I'm assuming this is the main gate. But the fact that it says concatenate means that uh, we ain't doing that. I'm assuming we need to connect all these power things together. Which I'm guessing might complete the circuit and create power? Or does just both sides have no power and we need to get power from somewhere else? I don't know. Either way, looks like we need the uh, concatenate ability to... Uh, um, do this. Those also look quite far away. Yeah, those are part of the concatenation thing. We understand. So I have a feeling you actually need all three upgrades for this part. The distance to get to these sockets, then concatenate to connect them together, and additional force to utilize this socket. I guess is needed to lift this extra heavy door. I don't really know how this additional force thing works, honestly. Um, but yeah, right now we're not getting in there. What do we have here? That's our power. That's a big pipe coming from the reservoir into the structure. I guess they need water for something. And there's this. Also with a blinking red light, so... It, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Reservoir water pump. I mean, it's just a guess, but I suppose that pumps water from the reservoir into that building. For whatever purpose they need it there. But no power. And we're blocked again. Well, that's no fun. And go down here. And we found the Omni Wheel. Can't get to it because the elevator's not here. And the elevator has no power. Great. Juleson Omni Wheel? We can. Can I get that one too? I can. Oh, that has no power either. Well, that's useless. Well, fine then. Didn't want to go here anyway. Guys, that's a lie. I do want to go here. But I guess we need to find power somewhere. Um, the wire does go that way. It's not very helpful. It goes down there. Oh, there's something down there. It seems like whatever comes from there 
goes to the Omni Wheel and then also goes up to the building. That does not look good. No swimming water here. Maybe that's how uh, too many keepers got uh, went into deep sleep too early here. They tried to swim in whatever that is. Somebody playing City Skylines, but their uh, their sewage output there by the looks of it. But I don't know how to get there. Presumably that elevator, but without any power, that's not helpful. Bit of a catch-22, that. We need power for the elevator, and we need the elevator to get to whatever that is, which presumably is where we get power. Must be another way, then. But we didn't fully explore on the other side yet, and also, you know, we could go a different way from our pod as well. Although I guess that wouldn't have taken us to the station then, if this is how we get there. We can, however, go this way. And... yeah, wait, we were... were we here before? No. Guess we couldn't have gotten here from there, because that's blocked too. And here's our always useful underwater staircase. I like the wind and the flags noise. That's kind of cool. I really like the sound design of this game, actually. Um... But what do you measure? Oh, okay. Well, that's just back around to the pot, then. Okay. That just takes us up to here. And we can't get past the... The Omni will lift. There must be a different way we can go, then. So far, all we're doing is running into dead ends. But it looks like there's a path down here, too. Which we'll check out in the next video.